Have you always wondered what are the essential skills for an electronics engineer? Well, in this video, I'll go from top to bottom. Skills that if you sharpen will give you an competitive edge as an electronics engineer. Number one most important skills that an electronics engineer should learn are the skills of a technician possess. This is soldering where you need to be able to solder IC components and make changes or mods to the bolt. Troubleshooting and validating bolts using an oscilloscope, logic analyzer or multimeter and much more and being able to read data sheets and schematics, of course. How do I know this is the baseline? Well, for my very painful memory, where my first ever interview in my life, they had me go solder in the laboratory. They gave me a schematic sheet, gave me the components, gave me the proto board, and then they had me an hour to solder everything and make it work. And yeah, all I can tell you is that the interview did not go well is because I didn't know how to solve stuff. The reason why is because of my uni. Not entirely because of uni, we just couldn't attend the labs in uni because of COVID. And so my soldering skills is literally zero. The second most important skills is PCB design from capturing schematics and then laying it out called the layout phase and then manufacturing, of course. PCB design is such a key skill needed as an electronics engineer. I think I said it in this other video, but are you even an engineer if you cannot make things come to life? So what is PCB design? Well, PCB design is turning your ideas from your schematic sheet like these into a rectangular board like these. How do you do this? Well, you use a software. And from my experience, what I use is Altium Designer, and that's what my company used, and that's what, how I design my board. If you're interested in learning PCB design, I would definitely recommend a YouTube channel called The Phil's Lab. And he has some excellent teaching videos about PCB design overall. He is my go-to teacher. <laughs> I'll link his YouTube channel down below. Third skills that you can differentiate yourself with other engineers is coding. Wait, wait, wait. I know what you're thinking. <laughs> you're thinking, man, fuck coding. I hate that shit, man. Like, you have avoided this entire uni life where you're basically choosing all the modules not relating to coding. Well, I want to tell you this straight up. You cannot escape coding forever because it will eventually catch up to you like it did to me. And you know what I believe? I believe soon Coding will be one of the main subjects in school where it's just like math or English. And we'll come eventually in a world where coding will be a requirement in all schools. Because it is so essential nowadays. It's everywhere and anywhere. So the earlier you start, the better. Here are my suggestions. If you had only, had only one choice to learn a language, I would definitely choose Python. Why? Well, Python has a lot of resources out there to learn, and it's one of the higher level language where it is just relatively easier to learn than other languages. And the other thing is that it's versatile. It's versatile in the sense that it's applied everywhere. Just look at it, data, AI, even now to electronics, literally everything. Third is that it's relatively easier to learn than other languages out there. But if you really want to dive into electronics side of programming, I would recommend you to learn C, C++ for Embedded, Verilog and VHDL for FPGAs and ASIC design. If you're really keen on, you know, diving into lower level programming. Now that we've gone past to the hard skills, let's not forget the soft skills as well. What I believe sometimes the soft skills are even more important than the technical skills one possess. Why do I say this? Well, anybody can learn and improve your technical skills. Just by practicing and repeating tasks, you'll eventually pick up those things. But what's harder to change, harder to pick up, is your thinking and your mindset. The first soft skills is learning how to communicate your design and your ideas clearly to others people. This is so crucial is because if you're unable to communicate your ideas clearly, you will not move far in your career life 
or even if you're trying to start a business or a tech startup, is because people will not take you seriously. How do you improve on this, you may ask? Well, being able to explain your ideas clearly comes with the depth and mastery you have in a certain topic, right? So my number one recommendation for you is to read and expand your vocabularies in that subject or, or whatever you're interested in. And don't be afraid to go back and polish your basics as well because that's what I'm doing right now. What I've realized is that I have a lot of knowledge gaps in my fundamentals. It is really detrimental for me when I'm trying to explain something to other people is because if I don't understand the basics, how am I supposed to even communicate a more complex idea, right? Finally, you need to think like an engineer. You need to have a higher level thinking process. So what I mean by this is that, for example, instead of just jumping into a project straight away, define a clear goal and set of requirements you want for the project because learning how to structure your processes is very crucial to the outcome of your project. Now that I think about it, it does sound a little bit like project management, right? Well, you know what I'm saying, just improve on project management skills then. Well, that's it for the video. I hope you found the video at least somewhat helpful. As I mentioned in this video, one way to improve your communication skills is to have a deeper knowledge and understanding in electronics. So check out this video where I built a theoretically impossible circuit. Sounds interesting, huh? Well, see you then.